22 years old and I'm now a university student in Hong Kong. Um, I started um, joining in the social movement in Hong Kong since year 2012 when I was 15 years old. So I have joined the social movement in Hong Kong for seven years already. I found a political party called Democracy Soul with my friends um, three years ago. But now we are no longer a political party anymore as we are rejected by the government for um, running in the election. That means we couldn't run for an election anymore. So that's why we are now just an activist group or you can say a political group but not a political party anymore. Uh, now, actually this organization is, is kind of formed by different political parties and organizations. So, so it's not a, not a real organization, it's like an alliance. Um, well, the Civil um, Human Rights Front is actually a kind of an alliance formed by different pan-democratic political party or political organization. But Demosisto is not one of the members of this organization. Yeah, but we are, you know, friends and we cooperate often in different um, demonstrations and the Civil Human Rights Front will organize different um, um, protests and demonstrations every year. Firstly, the extradition bill is a very, very dangerous bill, not only for Hong Kong people, but even for foreigners, including Korean who are coming to Hong Kong or who are working in Hong Kong, because um, if the extradition bill is passed in the Legislative Council, people could be um, extradited to the mainland China and to, um, like, for example, if they say something that the Communist Party don't like, or if they say some um, opposition opinion, you know, some political opinion, they might be caught to China. Not for Hong Kong people only, but even for foreigners who are coming to Hong Kong or who are living in Hong Kong. Although the um, government said that they, um, you know, the, the bill is dead, but they haven't completely retract the bill actually. And also, Hong Kong people have actually five demands. One of the demands is, of course, um, to call for the government to completely retract the extradition bill. But we also call for an uh, independent investigation over police violence, as the violence of the police is escalating every week, every week. And also we call for a democratization in Hong Kong, also that we Hong Kong people have fight for over 20 years already. Well, they are always the organizer of protests or, or demonstrations in Hong Kong and they, and they organize the protests on the 1st of July every year actually. Yeah. Um, I think it is the police who are escalating their level of violence every week and we can see that even there are rules um, that is regulating the violence of police. Um, Hong Kong, well the Hong Kong police is still against the group like for example they um, use tear gas indoor or they use tear gas in residential areas of course inside the protests there will be well there are different opinions regarding how could we you know continue our movement but um, we will respect others um, you know methods to fight for democracy because Hong Kong people had used different methods in the previous two months to fight for our goals already. Um, from June until now, Hong Kongers have used different kinds of methods to fight for our five demands only. We have tried using um, peaceful protests, demonstration, um, strike, um, or even um, um, international connections or you know, we have used this different kinds of ways to fight for our goals, but the government keeps um, ignoring our opinion. So that's why a lot of protesters think like we have to think of some way to 
impose more pressure to the government. That's why many of us went to the airport and have the protest. And um, we know that different. We know that um, there is a room of improvement regarding the um, methods of having protests in the airport. And also, some of the protesters have even apologized of what you know of the inconvenience they have caused to tourists or to um, foreigners. But um, we hope that people from living in foreign countries can understand that Hong Kong people are fighting so hard for democracy. I think uh, res the responsibility of being a government originally is to respect the opinion of people and listen to the opinion of people. But instead, Hong Kong government and also Chinese government did not. Um, fulfill their responsibility at all. So that's why people might think that um, they are not respecting this government. Never a person advocating for Hong Kong independence and my group, my political group, the Musiso, is also not a group advocating Hong Kong independence. What we advocate is a democracy and also self-determination in, in Hong Kong that Hong Kong people can decide our future by ourselves. It's not equal because we we advocate self-determination de just because we think that Hong Kong people should have the right to decide our own future. And you know, Hong Kong people could, you know, could choose whether we would like to have, you know, what what of the what what what's the way out of Hong Kong. I think it's better to ask this question to Carrie Lam and Hong Kong government that when will them respect the opinion of Hong Kong people and listen to our fine demands. I think the most important thing is to respect the opinion of people and to respect the human rights and democracy um, of people. And we Hong Kong people want democracy. Um, I think the biggest difference is that a brand movement has leader, but this movement is a leaderless movement. I think the most important thing is that Hong Kong people is now fighting very hard for democracy, and we hope that the government could respect our demands and opinion. I hope that the international community, um, including all the um, Koreans, could also show their support to the democratic movement in Hong Kong and also uh, to treasure the democratic right they have and to um, and to you know also um, to treasure the the rights they have in Korea. Yeah.